In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a course bundle graphic like the one you are seeing here on the screen. Now, the reason that we create a graphic like this is to create really cool graphics that we can put on the sales page for our online course or on our social media pages when we promote our online course. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step everything I went through to build all the different components of this from the logo to the different screens. I'll show you everything step by step. So with that said, let's dive right into it. In this tutorial, we're gonna be creating all the design assets for an online course. So to start things off, we're gonna create a logo for our online course that will be used in our bundle graphics and on our sales page, and basically every piece of marketing content that we create for our online course. It all starts with the logo, so let's start with that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to create a design in Canva and we are going to create a custom size and we are going to do 1000 by 1000 and click on create new design. And in preparation for this tutorial, I just did some quick Googling and I came across this page right here that I'm going to use as a little bit of inspiration to get our color scheme from. So I'm going to just click the eyedropper icon here. And I'm going to grab this blue and copy that. And I'm going to come up here, grab that color code, head back over to Canva and put this color as the background. So um, I like to start with a shape as the background. So I'm going to do that first, put this in here. Then I'm going to choose a custom color here, paste in our color code. And we're just going to use that to fill this entire background for our logo. And there we go. All right, so next we're gonna add some text for our logo. So I'll just click the text icon here and add some text. We're gonna do some heading text. So we'll click on that. And we're gonna be making a course called Design, Design Life University. And I'm gonna do university in a different font, so Actually, we'll put this near the center here. We're going to make this white. And let's do, let's see what Montserrat Bold looks like on this. We'll do Montserrat Extra Bold. There we go. And let's make this a lot bigger. There we go. All right. And I want to remove this space here, so I'm going to take that out. And we'll leave it like that for now. And I want to add another text element here. And we're going to just do, let's see if we can find anything that looks kind of futuristic. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to take this, but I'm going to only use the bottom text. So I'm going to get rid of, I want to see what font this is. So this is railway. So I'll, I'll just delete that. And I'll come back up here. We'll add a subheading. Actually, it stayed right there. So that's perfect. We'll use this. So we're going to type in university. And we are going to first make this font bigger. I'm going to try about 30. And then let's bring this up. And let's space this text way out. So we'll click this and we will do letter spacing. We're going to space that out like that. Try to line that up there. Extend that out there. And let's go a little bit bigger. Maybe something like, actually, let's do like that. See if we can get any more spacing there. All right, so the max that's going to let us go is 800. So let's leave it like that. And then, and then let's come back over to our inspiration here and let's grab this green color and just see what this looks like. So we click that, grab that mint green color, come back over and let's see what making life in that green color looks like. So we'll click that, change that color there. And okay, so we're getting somewhere. So 
Let's see if we want to add any type of icon. So, thinking like, let's try searching brush icon. Let's do that under elements, brush icon. Thinking something like a paintbrush. So, let's type in brush stroke and see what we can find. So, let's try changing the color of this. We'll try the green. I don't think the green will be what we want. I think we're gonna want maybe a pink. Let's try the pink from our inspiration image here. Let's just grab something there. Boom, let's grab that. And let's try that here. Let's do, let's change this one. Throw in the pink color. There we go, something like that. Change the size just a little bit, bring it down a little bit. Maybe something like that. What I might try here is duplicating this, moving that position backward, and bringing it over a touch just to see. Okay, cool. So let's roll with something like this. So now that we have the logo, let's start building the bundle graphic. So I'm thinking for this bundle graphic, we want to create multiple different images on different computers and devices, and then put them all into one big bundle and kind of make that hero image that you would see on a sales page for an online course. So, so we're going to duplicate this page and I'm just going to delete the background real quick and download this as a PNG with transparent background. So we'll download that. All right, and then the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go back to the Canva homepage here. I'm gonna create a new design, only this time we're gonna do 1920 by 1080 and create a new design. All right, and I want you to think about this as a computer screen. So we're gonna shrink this down a little bit. And guys, these bundle graphics can be really simple. And just combining a few simple elements, you can come up with some really cool stuff. So if we, we're going to go back to elements and we're going to add a new shape. And again, this is going to be our background element. So I'm going to come back up here to our extension here and grab that blue color that we had as a background. I'm going to copy that. And I'm gonna do custom color there. And then we're gonna pull this the whole width of the screen. All right, we'll leave that there. And then I'm thinking I want some type of desk as a background image that we'll put behind this. So let's go to photos and let's just type in office desk keyboard and just see what we can find here. So I'm thinking maybe something like this you know, with it being a design course. And I actually really like this. So I'm going to bring that here. You know, it has that concept of somebody drawing something almost and kind of extend this out. Something like that. Leave it like that, and then we're going to make this transparency down a little bit. So we want it to pretty much be invisible, but just enough there that you can see it. So do something like that. Now let's upload our logo that we just created and downloaded. So let's go to Upload Files and choose our logo click open now that that's uploaded we'll throw this in there and we'll just make this bigger and do something like that because i want to put some text under this we're going to add a text section and let's see if we can find anything cool here so I'm going to select this and we're going to delete some of these elements here. 
<clears throat> delete that, delete that, and leave this. And let's bring this up in size. And let's do something like this. And we need a good tagline here. So we, we're going to put something like, something like where, and let's make this text capitalize each word. So where designers want to master their craft, the number one program for web designers. All right, cool. So we got some text there like that. I'm going to highlight all that and we're going to make it white. Let's see what that looks like. And I'm going to try taking a couple of these words and making them the green color just to see what it looks like, just to add a little bit of color. Let's go like that. And now that we have that here, I'm going to select both of those and just center them on this page. Boom, there we go. Actually, I might bring it up just a touch. All right, cool. So now that we have that, that's looking pretty good. Now let's start building the first piece of our bundle graphic. So I'm going to come back over here to Canva. I'm going to do another graphic that's 1920 by 1080. And for now, we'll use our same uh, background color. So we'll do this. We'll change that color. We'll come up here and grab our blue color. And do this. There we go. And now I'm going to type in computer frame and I'm going to come down here to where it says frames I'm going to click see all and I want the one down here that looks like an iMac so I'm going to start with this I'm going to bring that in all right and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger put it in the center something like that and there we go and now let's come back to this graphic and let's download this so we're going to download this and we'll do it as a png and we'll just download this here all right and then let's come back to our bundle graphic here let's upload upload files select it and click upload there we go. And now let's add this to the screen. All right, cool. So now we have that on this here. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. Bring this up. All right, so to give this some variation, I want to use a darker blue so it doesn't blend in with our screen. So I'm going to select this from our inspiration file. Come back over. And let's change this background color. Let's just add this and let's make it that color. Boom, there we go. And now let's bring back over our image, drop it into the iMac screen. Boom, there we go. Now we're looking good. All right, so now we want to make our next screen item. So I'm going to create the next one. We're just going to do a laptop screen. So Let's do this laptop frame. I'm going to copy that, go to elements, and we're going to type in laptop frame. And let's see. Let's give this one a shot and see what that looks like. We're going to shrink this down. Do something like this. And we'll go back to our uploads. And I can create a separate graphic for this if I wanted to. But for now, I'm going to make it the same one. Okay. And then next I want to add a tablet. 
but I want to mix this up a little bit. All right, so with that out of the way, now let's create like an iPad looking graphic. So let's go back to the home here in Canva. I'm just going to create like a standard document size. So we'll do US letter doc, which is eight and a half by 11. And for this particular part of the graphic, I almost want to make this like a cheat sheet that would be part of the online course. Now, the cool thing when doing this is I would actually grab some type of document or cheat sheet that I created for the users of the course. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to put something together pretty quick, uh, probably with some uh, with a text generator just to get some information into this document. So let's start by adding an element here. We're just going to add a standard square here. So let's add this. And let's stretch this out. Let's pull this up to the top. And let's change it to our blue color. So I'm going to grab our blue color. There we go. And let's change it here. Paste that in. Boom, there we go. Now let's go back to our uploads. Let's grab our course logo. Let's drag that in. Shrinking this up a little bit. Put it up there like so. And now I want to come back over here. I want to grab our tagline text and copy that. And let's just paste that here. And we're going to do something like that. Let's pull that up here. Make a nice little heading for this. And let's change that font color to white. And let's just try making this our green color. And this our green color as well, just like our other document. Boom, there we go. And now let's create a text element here. So we'll use body text and let's paste in some dummy text here. Let's line this left. Let's try 17 for the font size. Let's make it a little bit smaller. We don't need this much text. We're just going to create a couple breaks here. Something like that. And there we go. I'm just going to delete the rest of this. There we go. And let's go to file show rulers and guides and let's just move this over about one inch there and about somewhere right in there and let's make this font just a little bit smaller go back up to there boom there we go let's bring that down Something like that, and then we're going to shorten this up because the margin would pull that off to a next page. And we'll do something like that. And let's put like a heading graphic in here. So we'll use our Montserra Extra Bold. Let's bring this up and let's make up a title here. So get started design and let's bring this size way down let's do like 20 and see what that looks like boom there we go now let's line this up and let's do one more thing just to give it a little bit more color let's do this let's bring this down to the bottom like so stretch that out and let's make this our green color Boom. So now let's download this and let's come back over to our bundle graphic. 
and let's go under elements. Let's try typing tablet frame. There we go. Let's grab this. And let's size that down to what a tablet would look like. Maybe something like that. And then let's upload the file we just created. And let's bring this into our tablet graphic. And there we go. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to add like a phone to this bundle. So let's go back to elements here and type in phone frame. And let's do this one here. And let's size this down. Something like that. And with that there, let's create a design for our phone device. So let's go back to the home. We're going to click on create a new design. And let's try phone wallpaper. So let's click this. And let's go to our uploads. Let's grab this and do something like this. I think I'm going to make it wider. Do something like that. Maybe just a little bit bigger. And what I would like to do is near the bottom, if we can make it look like almost like a playlist. Maybe something like along these lines. And then let's just go to elements here. Let's add another line here. Let's bring this down. this and I want to make that line a little bit thicker do something like that and down here at the bottom let's do something like this let's try let's put in a shape here Actually, let's move, well, we'll leave that there. Let's do this. And then let's change that color. I want to do something like a blue, do something like that. And let's type in play button. Try something like this. Let's make it really small. Let's bring it in like that and let's make it our green color. Be a little bit smaller, something like that. We're going to add some text here. Let's just do this. Let's type in up next. Let's make this white. I'll make it a lot smaller. Pull it up down here. Then let's bring this down a little bit. Let's copy this. Make that left aligned, and then let's pull this over here. Something like that. Let's 
go to elements and let's search for a line. Let's try something like this. Let's bring this down. And let's try making this some type of gray color. Like that. There we go. And then I'm going to select these three elements, copy, paste, bring another one down. Over here. I'm just making up some episodes here. These would be actual modules from the course. All right, and I'm actually going to select all of these elements. Don't want that background, so let's unselect that. Let's pull these down a little bit. Something like that. All right, so let's take that and let's download that. And now we are back over at our main bundle graphic and we'll click upload. And let's grab that graphic we just created and upload it. And let's pull that over to our phone design. And boom, there we go. All right, so the last and final step of this, guys, is downloading it without the background. So I'll duplicate this entire page here. And I will delete our background. And I will download this as a PNG file with a transparent background. And I only want page two. And in the next tutorial in this series, guys, what we'll do is we'll actually build out the sales page for this course. And you actually see how we use this bundle or hero graphic on that sales page. So I'll see you in the next video.